Well, I'm super excited. If you can hear that sound, that is the end of the first Kingdom Legacy project being completed. That's the lease being printed. We found a tenant. The house is beautiful. We'll show you pictures of what it looked like before and after. And then, of course, you've seen the videos of how God spoke to me about buying the house, how the business was created, how the bank favored us, how we re renegotiated the contract even when we weren't in a position to close, um, how God moved the seller all the way to Africa so that we could be able to uh, get an agreement to purchase this house. And there were so many different unexpected twists and turns, but we are finally at the end of the road, which is really the beginning of a great um, future of ownership and being landlords. I want to, um, let me see if I can find this, because this will this will just show you how far back this goes. This is a Dallas County Housing Agency landlord certificate um, from the County of Dallas, State of Texas. Um, so I, before I ever found this house, before, and this was dated September 9th, 2019, before I was ever in a position to qualify, before I ever had a dime of the money, I, I had an interest that came suddenly upon me to become a landlord or to become a lord of the land. It's something that I've helped people do uh, professionally, but it was like a sudden like interest, a sudden, you know, now, 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 now. So I went and I took the training course to become a landlord or to be a certified uh, landlord that's on record with Dallas County. So now that I could qualify to rent um, within the various programs of Dallas County. This is before I had a property. Before I had any money in savings to buy a property, I got certified um, and registered. And I just wanted to show that to show just how far back it goes. Now it's May 2020. I had no idea when I went to go take that course that I would be here today. Like conceptually, I had an idea about it, that this is what I wanted to do, but I didn't actually know that it would that it would be May 4, 2020 when I would achieve this huge goal um, and that my family would be in this position and my husband and I would be here um, and my children, that we would be here in such a short amount of time. I want this to encourage you that sometimes when you get those sudden just pulls or just inspiration that comes upon you and it's something that just seems completely impossible, you don't know how it's going to work out, um, you don't know, you know, you don't have what you need to be able to make it happen, I encourage you to just go for it. Just take one step, one tiny step, and God will help you take the rest. So what you just heard was me printing the lease application. I mean the lease, the lease agreement. I'm on my way in the next few hours to go meet the tenant to have the lease signed. And I want to tell you a little bit about just how good God is. So in the middle of all of this, my contractor told me that he would not be able to work because in the middle of the renovation, the pandemic came. And he's in the middle of, I don't even know what stage we were at at that time. Let's say we were in the middle of, you know, doing the electrical. The walls were completely bare. There was no sheetrock. There was no power. And he just said, everybody quit. <laughs> and so I was like about to panic. And then I just said, you know what? I'm not worried. I told him, I said, do what's best for you and your family. Because I don't want to ever put anybody in a position where they would be harmed. I understand completely. So if it's going to, you know, if we're going to have to bear this financially, then you know, I just trust God. Well, for whatever reason, they continue to work. Um, people just kept showing up for work. They adjusted the way that they work so they would only have one person there or that, you know, one person would be in this room and another person would be in that room so they weren't in the same areas. They finished the job. 
Um, it took a little bit longer than we expected. Um, so at this point, February, March, April, May. Um, it, it took about 12 weeks to finish, which is twice the amount of time that we thought it would. But it's okay because God's timing is perfect. And let me tell you why. I listed it for a lease. Um, and a woman reached out to me. I hadn't got any inquiries uh, because I didn't have any completed photos because it took longer than I expected. So based on just the really terrible remodeled photos with no floors and, and no walls, um, a woman reached out to me and she told me her story and she told me that nobody would rent to her. Nobody would rent to her because of her background, because of her past. She's got a really um, shady past and it's because she was a former drug addict and so she began to tell me about her desperation right now she's homeless her and her four children are living in a shelter in downtown Dallas and unfortunately she can't get out of the shelter because no one will rent to her and she had found a man who had agreed to rent to her she got all the paperwork completed, and the day she went to move in, he changed his mind. And she begged. She begged. And I said, you know what? Just meet me at the property. Let me show it to you. And she couldn't believe that I, that was my response. Like, I didn't, it wasn't like, what did you do? And, you know, it was just, meet me there. Let me show it to you. Well, when I met her, uh, I showed it to her like I would any other tenant without judgment or prejudice of her past. She has two, She has a job full-time job but she's homeless and I told her based on her income and she told me she her hours had been cut back due to COVID I said well I'm concerned about your ability to pay so the next day she went and found a whole new job a second job full-time job went through orientation just to show me how serious she was and we talked she told me that she made a lot of mistakes being um being addicted to drugs and she knew that the things that she did was wrong but this was eight to ten years ago and now she was a responsible mother who was just trying to provide a home for her family it touched my heart for a lot of reasons I don't want to go into um, but it touched my heart because I believe that anybody can change and I believe that uh, everybody deserves a second chance and finally, I'm in a position to be the one to give somebody that chance. As risky as I understand that chance to be that me and my husband are making, I decided in the midst of me having a second applicant who called, who was paying cash, who had all the money that they need to pay, everything that begged me to rent to them. But my heart pulled toward the other woman who was homeless. And so now I'm in a position where I'm about to go up to the homeless shelter to help uh, fill out the paperwork with her. Uh, and I'm excited because when she saw it, she said, this is a mansion. This is like a mansion, which it just really made me want to cry because it's not a mansion. It's just a house. It's just a it's just something that we did really well. We took our time with it. We uh, my contractor did a great job. And we, we did the extra, you know, we didn't just slap some paint on, on it and some lipstick on it. Like we gutted it. We redid the electrical, redid the plumbing. Like we didn't have to do these things. Well, some of them we did, but we didn't have to do some of the things that we did, putting the tile, um, you know, just brand new everything. But for whatever reason, we wanted to do it to the very absolute best of our abilities. And when she came, she said, this is going to be the nicest thing my children have ever lived in. It's a blessing, like a huge blessing for her. So I uh, told my mom, I was super excited. I told my mom, and I want to shout out to my mom, Zanetta Drew. Her, my Aunt Sissy, my Aunt Dee Dee got together without telling me and gathered all these things out of their home for my tenant. And then also Audrey, our hairstylist, um, gathered all these things um, like Audrey's donating a um, dining room table, two flat screen TVs. Um, my mom has gotten uh, people to donate money. Um, she got all the food that she had gotten for COVID that she didn't actually use 
and she's going to stock the pantry for her. Um, she's got cleaning supplies. My Aunt Dee Dee has dishes and uh, cups and plates and silverware and shower curtains, brand new towels and um, things that you'd need when you move into a house that you just don't, uh, you, you have to pay for. And I didn't think about this when I agreed to rent to her that, oh, wait, she doesn't have furniture. Like, I didn't even, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'll give you, I'll let you rent the house. Not thinking that she's going to have to literally start from scratch. So I'm overwhelmed. My mom is texting me right now. Like, let me see. Like, right now. Hold on. Right now. Um, saying, um, saying, sissy gave me cash on cash app and i've already gotten cash put it in a card from sissy they're gonna show up and give the lady all these things she doesn't even know the blessings that are about to fall on her all because god put kingdom legacy company in a position to be a channel for the blessings we can't even take credit for it just to be a channel for it to get to the right person um i'm so excited uh, if you want to help this woman i'm gonna put her cash up here um, when I post this video, um, her cash app handle, um, it's dollar sign T, F is in Frank, H is in Harry, five, six, seven. If you want to send her $5, every little bit goes, she can buy toilet paper, she can buy paper towels. Um, it's just a blessing. It's very, just as a realtor, it's just, it's not a conventional decision. You don't rent to the homeless person. Um, just, you don't, it's not, it's not what they would say is conventional wisdom, but when your heart is moved, you do what God puts on your heart to do. So I believe that he'll work it out for her, um, and her family. So I'm excited. I'm happy to share the journey. The cycle is complete from, from the vision. This all came from a dream where God showed me the house in a dream. The next day I saw the house. It all worked out. Go back and watch all the videos. I'll try to put like a video together to show the whole story. And I'm going to do a walkthrough so you see the house when it's complete. But everything has been divine. Not one thing has been stolen. Nobody has robbed us. God has truly covered us. And I know that he will going forward. So thank you for watching.